Another corpse in the hole. Another one for the fire! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. There's actually been a, quite a large update. As you can see, now we can see the top of my house, which is something that we couldn't do before. There's also uh, been quite a few changes um, regarding things you can do. Um, basically, you can forage uh, forage berries, and berries and fish now have a, a greater nutritional value, which I think is going to be quite useful for us. And then uh, we've also got shovels can be used to dig a grave, and we can bury a bunch of zombies in there. So that might be quite nice. Um, is this done? Is this completely full? Info. Tell me about this. Oh, it's still a young zucchini. Okay. But our zucchinis are going well. Uh, I don't think I need to water them. Can't remember when the last time it rained was, but it was probably recent. You guys enjoying your tea party still? Sorry I ruined your table. Bye. <laughs> oh, well. These things do happen from time to time, I suppose. Ooh. I think the, uh, the animals are having a... A Japanese tea party, maybe, where they each have their own little tray in front of them. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with for now. <laughs> I guess. I don't really know. Hmm, can I do some scavenging? I would like to scavenge just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, houses are now uh, impossible to peek through. You used to be able to just walk past the windows and you'd be able to see what's inside. Now you gotta walk up to the window and be like, hello, hello, let's, let's look through the window. Is that possible? Yeah, okay, I guess the curtains are closed on that one. I probably closed the curtains, like a smart person would do. Alright, good job, Dayton. We're remembering to do some stuff. There's so many corpses around. I might like to find a shovel and at least give a proper, proper burial to some of them. Oh, where do we put our money? Oh god! Oh shit! I was looking for money! I needed money! <laughs> She's like, why do you need that? I don't really need it, but I want it. Can't you see? Better keep my eye out. Huh. Make the big bucks. See how much money I can get out here. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars? Dude, we're, we're racking it up already. And uh, I've ignored it for so long, there's probably a lot of bodies out here that have just a little bit of money on them. Is that something? No. No, it's nothing. The money's usually going to be near the top because it starts with uh, digits and stuff, right? Is that how this works? I'm not sure. I can't quite recall. Oh, that's a crawly zombie. Aren't ya? Aren't you a crawly zombie? Guess not. Hmm, interesting that she died face down. I think there's also a, a corpse decay uh, mechanic that's gone into effect. Where's my door? There it is. We're going to need to clean out these zombies. That is for sure. It's not going to be good. How do I pick them up? Grab corpse. Okay. Let's see if I can find a shovel and uh, clean up my house just a little bit. There's a few zombies just laying about in my house. That's not gonna be good. At least three or four. See? They're, they're too close. They're everywhere! You're too close, man! I don't remember how they got in here. I guess I killed them when I was building the fence and, uh, never moved them. Hmm. How lazy. How lazy of one to do so. This guy's got a shotgun. I got a shotgun. Hmm, I think these are rotten. Yep. Rotten broccoli. It rotted in the uh, the seedling phase. Which means I need to be quite wary. And remember to keep all this shit watered. Especially them zucchinis. They might save my life. You never know. Hey buddy. How you living? Good? That's great. Now you're not living no more. Heh heh heh. I ruined everything for you. Heh heh heh. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, we've been in here before. But I want to find a shovel. 
I want to find a shovel so I can dig a grave. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, look at this. I got some more toys. Should the helicopter come? Yeah, why not? We don't discriminate. We don't discriminate against mechanical beings around here. If you're a toy, you're a fucking toy. If the army man can come, why not the helicopter? That's all I'm saying. Santa hat? No. Santa hat, that's not a proper toy. Everybody knows that. Here's some bandages. Yes, add it to the pile. Got four things of bleach in here. What do you need that much bleach for? You like some kind of OCD person or whatever? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Rained. Oh, that's right. Uh, clothes can also become dirty and or bloody. So, is what I'm wearing okay? My skirt and my sweater? <laughs> I assume you can wash the clothes as well. This game is going to get really deep. Once they add pooping mechanics, that's that's how I know it's <laughs> it's gone all the way. It's almost ready for release because it has pooping mechanic. I guess I looted this fridge. Still got a good amount of stuff in there. And the door's open. Don't much like the look of that. Credit card, headphones. We need twine, don't we? I need that for something. Fishing traps? I think it's fishing traps. I can't remember. It's been just a minute since I played Project Zomboid, you know. I'll sit down and do uh, two or three episodes. Two, three, four episodes if I got a couple hours to spare. And then uh, I don't play it for a couple weeks because I don't want to lose my save and not remember where I am and such. Because that would be tragic. I put so much fucking work into this, uh, this one server, I guess you'd call it. It's a local server, but it's still a server. Isn't that right? There's also been a, a new series of buildings added. I think it's to the west of West Point. And I remember that because I said, isn't that ridiculous? So we basically have to go back through the land that we already trekked through, that we just came back from uh, maybe a few episodes ago. So I'm not too eager to go trek that way, even though it does have some new building types apparently, which I think could be pretty cool. But we'll save it for another time. There's no rush. And I've looted all of this shit. I guess I need to go, uh, go to a warehouse. A warehouse should have a shovel, right? That warehouse that had all the pallets? Why wouldn't it have a shovel as well? That made good sense. That poor fella with a rolling pin and a wedding ring. He was the one that did all the cooking. That wife, she weren't good for nothing. I tell you what. Uh, perfume, that's probably not good. That's not gonna help. Oh, lots of antidepressants here. Okay. I take pill. I take pill. I eat mystery seeds. We need to start planting some more mystery seeds. I think we did uh, get a few mystery seeds. And th they turned out to be zucchinis. My character's probably so sick of fucking zucchinis. Tell you what. And now uh, my exertion's creeping up. Damn, always with the exertion. Come on, man. Here's the warehouse. Damn, it's just so close to my, 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 my space. I didn't realize. It seemed like it was a long way away the first time we went here, didn't it? Is that just me? All right, I go inside. Goodbye. Definitely don't want to break that door down. Let's see here. Shop back. Oh, here we are again. Here we are again. Hmm, can I get some foodies? Did I bring anything? Yes, I did. Fish fillet, better hot. Wow. So they've added some, even more. Even more on top of what they had already done. That's quite nice. Hmm, I don't know if there's going to be a shovel in here. I think I searched everywhere and saw mostly paint brushes. Ah! There. Shovel. Yes. I found it. Don't you worry. We're gonna give these boys a proper burial yet. Hey, buddy. I was gonna try and back him out the door, but, uh, he's already dead. So, no problem. It is what it is. He's got some bling. Bling bling! Hey, you got your bling bling! Na 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 na. 
Well, I think these corpses are going to weigh quite a bit. I don't think I have much room for, uh, for carrying more than one at a time. So this is going to be an all-day project. It's going to be a, a grave-digging day, I guess. Mostly because I don't want to get myself sick, uh, if that is a thing that could happen. Which I read in the patch notes that that is a thing that could happen. So that's basically why I'm uh, a bit nervous. And where do I bury them is my next question then. Hmm. Is there dirt in the front? Because I think they're closer to the front. Actually, there's quite a few back here too. All right. I'll make a couple of graves. You can fill them up. You can fill them up with however many corpses you want. And the animation on the shovel is actually quite nice. Look at that. Huh. Dig graves. Uh, let's dig this grave. There we go. It would be cool if you could uh, plant on top of the graves as well. I think that would be quite nice. Can I walk over the grave? I don't even fall in it. Look at that. That's nice. That's super. Alright. Back to baseball bat. I wonder if the shovel's any better than the baseball bat. Hmm. Curious. Oh my. This is a heavy motherfucker, isn't he? There we go. Okay. Berry corpse. Oh, you can stick five in there. Alright. Well, we will do what we do. Um, this doesn't have that much stuff in it. Dang. Well, yeah, it's just a heavy load. Okay. I'm gonna offload some of this stuff. I can get to running. So, let's do that. And I guess uh, I need both hands in order to drag that corpse around. Honestly, it's only 12 kilos, which isn't, isn't so bad, I do suppose. I'm gonna make some graves in the front, and then I can stick my shovel away. That's right. Just uh, a little bit of house cleaning today. Isn't that so nice? Oh, I thought there was more more dirt out here. <laughs> oh well. Can I, can I put it here? Dig up the bushes? Sure you can. You do whatever you want. We'll make room for more. 20 or so. This is enough for 40 corpses, which... I don't even have 40 corpses around here. Mmm, okay. Back to this. Take some beta blockers. You like that. You like that, don't ya? Uh, doctor's bag is equipped. I guess I'll drag a few out here so I don't need my doctor's bag. I'll just stash some stuff on the floor. That's gonna be real good. And I'll totally remember why I did that. <laughs> uh baseball bat. Oh, it's in my hand already. No shit! There we go. Alright, now I'm feeling a, a little lighter. I guess I could get rid of all of this shit, right? Just go ahead and drop it all on the floor. I got lots of dragging to do, okay? Um, don't want to drop my key ring. I will put the rest of it, though. There we go. How's that? Most of those were uncooked bait fish. Gotta remember to use these. A little bit of sardines. Mmm, oh, that's so good. Okay, so now I can grab a corpse and run around without uh, having to worry too much. Let's make sure they don't have any goodies on them before we put them in the ground. Grab one corpse, and that's all we can do. Okay. Here we go. Get in the hole! Get in the flask! Bury. Bury the corpse. Go on and bury it. Oh god. Why? Why no do? I'm so confused. And uh, I should have built this fence out a bit further, but I didn't know the patch was gonna make it so I couldn't fucking see. Whoopsie! All right, I'll just leave. I'll just leave these doors open. That can't possibly go wrong, right? Maybe. 
Is this corpse like bugs or something? Bury. Bury the fucking corpse! Okay, just throw it on the ground. There we go. Pick it up one more time. Oh, I probably need the fucking shovel with me to bury it. Oh, duh. Braining, Dayton. It's important. I thought, you know, we're just throwing it in a hole, so we don't need the shovel. But we definitely do, because the, uh, the correct term is burying. We are burying these corpses. Alright, give me my shovel back. I'm gonna grab this other fella up. He's within my... Within my, uh... Territory, I guess I'll call it. Yeah, I got a big territory. There we go. Very corpse. Very good. <sighs> Alrighty. Can't keep all these doors open, but... Yeah, there's not too many zombies around. I done pretty good keeping this place all nice and clean. We're gonna keep it clean. That's what we need to do. Do 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 do. Another corpse in the hole. Another one for the fire! Grab the corpse. There's quite a few in here, aren't there? Oh god. I should probably seal... Seal my base up after that gunshot. Let us do that right quick. Nobody's home. Goodbye. But we'll keep these doors closed just to, uh... Just to be a little more safer. There we go. Oh my god, I left all the doors open. How could I do this? It seemed like such a good plan. And then I immediately learned that it wasn't. Alright, grab this guy. I want to fill up this grave first. And so let's do just that. There's enough. There's definitely enough. Alright. We're doing pretty good. Go on, grab that corpse. Grab this corpse. I'm not sure what the distance is, uh, the safe distance from corpses, but I'm pretty sure you don't want them close. As few corpses around as possible is probably better. Some more maintenance. And also, it's just kind of an excuse to, uh, to experiment with something new. So yeah, they do have a, an animation for when the grave is full, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So we'll go ahead and throw some more in there. Hey, hey, hey! Very nice. I want to fill up all the graves with all the zombies. Because this time they're really dead. For reals! Probably. <laughs> I hope. I think there was also some zombies that I killed in the police station. This could be a, a fucking all-day project, I'll tell you what. And I don't even know what time it is since I got rid of my digital watch. So, that's that's not smart. Whoopsie doodle. Oh well. I'm sure it's not too late. Not too late yet. We're doing okay. I do need a little drinky drink. And I don't think any zombies were attracted by that gunshot. It sounded really fucking loud. How loud? I'm quite unsure. There we go. A little more. Just bury them all. I might need to make some more graves. More zombies hanging around here than I thought. Um, pick this thing up. Grab that fucking thing. Hopefully they're not out there, uh, rifling through my stuff either. That's my shit, zombie. You stay away! I don't, even have, I don't even have a bat to hit them with at the moment. Well, I do. I could go find a bat if there's zombies uh, milling around out there. Or I could just run by my pile, grab the bat, and uh, everything would be just fine. I think. I hope. So that's two graves all filled up. There's another one. I should be checking these for uh, items and such. I'm bearing binoculars and a nickel <laughs> in this grave as well. But that's okay. These are things that you will obviously need in the afterlife. Isn't that the truth? And honestly, if I bury some money, whatever. Money's useless. I just started picking it up for the funsies. 
to see how much money I could get. <laughs> Infinite money! Okay. We've done pretty well cleaning up the backyard. Any corpses in here? Oh god. How did you get in here? Are you coming? Hey friend. Are you coming? Okay, you just stay in there. Alright. Hey, come over. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Oh, I could probably use this fucking shovel. Let's see about that. Um... Let's equip primary, maybe? Guess I gotta unequip it first. Oh, that's my sweater. God damn it! What is happening in my brain? Unequip the shovel. Thank you for waiting over there so patiently. That is super kind of you. Hey, buddy. Come over this way. I don't want to drag you. Just, just walk this way. Come with Daddy Dayton. He gonna give you a nice permanent home. There you go. That's a good stupid. Uh, uh. My fucko. Hmm, he's got a hammer. Yep, like I said, he's gonna need all this in the afterlife. Here we go. Come with me. Bury corpse. Done. Well, that was unexpected. I guess I should, uh, keep my shovel equipped. Until I grab another corpse. How the fuck did he get in here? That's a mystery. None of these windows are broken. This place is looking quite nice. Jeez. That's uh, a mystery for another day, I suppose. There's some corpses. Anything in the police station? Oh god. It's a massacre in here. Holy shit. I'm not going to deal with this right now. I'm going to concentrate on my actual house. I'll just assume that those things are far enough away that it's not going to uh, affect me in a negative way. But who really knows? <laughs> Should probably also grab my digital watch. There it is. That's what I need. Do not set the alarm. That's not going to be a good idea. Oh my god. Look at all these fuckers. I want this pop. Okay? I'm thirsty. I've been working hard dragging you fuckers around. There's four out here. Damn. Guess this is what happens when you don't uh, clean up your mess immediately. <laughs> oh well, lesson learned. I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm not going to get sick. Because being killed by zombies after they're already dead, that's pretty lame, bro. That's almost as lame as dying from the rain. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that didn't happen too. We've been soaking wet quite a few times, but I guess, uh... Yeah, I don't know what it takes. What does it take to get sick? I'll tell you something about myself. My immune system, pretty primo. I do pretty good. I came to the Philippines. I didn't get sick, uh, but maybe once or twice. Which, going to a completely separate country without uh, additional vaccinations and whatnot, I guess, I guess it's pretty impressive. It's impressive to me, at the very least. I impressed myself! Ha ha! It's, uh, putting a damper on the humble narrator thing, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, here's another one. I'm getting so tired. Just running around endlessly, burying all these fuckers. There we go. There's a full grave. Hey, hey, hey! I'm just gonna end up making all these fucking places full. I think there was one in the hall over here. There you are. Come with me, friend! Thank you so much! Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you can't, uh, fertilize plants with these zombie corpses. For they are diseased and disgusting. And I must keep them away from me. Away from me and my home. Grab this corpse. <laughs> He's like, I can't pat through the wall. Oh well, I'll just pick it up through the wall. <laughs> Everything's normal, don't worry. There we go. 
I don't think I need to clean up corpses everywhere, because that would make this game a whole lot less fun. Like, if you're just passing by, I think it's going to be just fine. Is there a corpse here? I guess not. I guess it's okay. Now I need to fucking make sure to check all these doors. Because I'm just opening them willy-nilly. All willy-nilly. I'm glad I figured out that shovel bit. A bit of uh, critical thinking never hurt anyone. Damn. We are filling up these graves so quick. I mean, not quick, but... I didn't expect to fill them up at all. <laughs> and we've already filled up, uh... Four of them? Five of them? Jesus. There are many more corpses than I thought around here, so... It's quite a good idea. I read that in the patch notes, and I'm like, okay. Cleaning day. Field day. But I'm not... I'm not doing the police station. No, sir. Not today. Not no way. Not no how. There we go. One more. Is there any upstairs? I don't think any zombies have gotten upstairs. Hmm, bathrooms. Should probably check. I think my, uh, my fishing base is also pretty clean as far as zombies and the like. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Is this the last corpse I have to clean? Is the, the main question for myself right now? Everything up here looks pretty good. Okay. That's looking pretty nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe one more out in the front. No, we're good. We're good. We could go through the side yard and shit like that, but uh, maybe on another day. I put in a good amount of work today, cleaning up all this shit. That's how we do. And, uh, what am I gonna leave? Leave my shovel. Actually, I probably shouldn't leave it way out here, because I'm not gonna remember it. Most assuredly. It's almost invisible there. It looks like a fucking stick. So, okay. Grab that up. And, uh, I need to put this on my back. There we go. Did, did you equip it? No, you didn't. Why you no equip? There we go. Empty soda can. Whatever. Pile of trash. That's what I do. Where should I store this shovel? A place that I'll remember it. Hmm. With the baseball bats? With the hammer. Got a lot of hammers. More hammers than I need, to be quite quite honest. This seems like a good shelf. Even as packed full of shit as it is. This is where like most of my tools and things go, right? Yeah. Shovel. Okay. I'll live with that. Put some twine in there. That's gonna do quite nice. Antidepressants? Mmm. I don't know. I don't know. I got a few more guests to go to the tea party, so let's uh, deliver them. Deliver them post haste. Although I don't know if I have any what you call them's cups, plates, bowls, some shit. I do got a couple bowls here. I'm gonna bring this to the tea party. Army man showed up. He brought a bowl of rotten gruel. Oh, thank you so much for this gift. This wonderful blessing that you've bestowed upon me and my friends. Oh god. Always out here. Oh, my exertion's too high. I've been dragging corpses around all day. Okay. Come up this way. Come along, come along. I thought there was like a spiffos around here or something. Hmm. I haven't visited that Spiffo's in so long. I ate all the burgers and fries, and I'm like, whatever. Don't need this shit no more. Hmm. Binoculars? I bet those are kind of useful, right? Especially if you're, like, in the mall area. So you could see a little further ahead of yourself and kind of plot your course away from the, the zombie hordes. Hmm. 
I don't think there's any near my fishing base. Maybe that one that I killed earlier. That could be a possibility. I think he's far enough away, isn't he? He's way down here, at the end of the path. You guys, don't look over that way. There's there's nasty things down there. I'm going to take Monkey and Dolly and T-Rex. And we'll just extend this a little bit. Just a little bit. Give a little bit. Give a little bit of my thing to you. Okay, uh, Monkey, you can go here. Here we go. Army man, he wants to sit next to the doll. He likes that doll, see? Here we go. Dolly. Oh, he probably needs his helicopter too. Man, I didn't pick this out. Alright. The party is getting big as shit. Helicopter. T-Rex. Alright, here we go. Couple bowls of gruel. Hmm, grab one. We didn't do that right. There we go. I'm trying to distribute all this stuff evenly, you guys, but it's a little difficult. Hmm, mugs of water. I want that one that's like under all the other ones. There. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Alright, here's a mug for you. And you guys have to share a mug, I'm sorry. We're not so fancy around here, you know. But you got the gruel, so uh, count your blessings, I suppose. Yeah, it's looking pretty acceptable. I heard a zombie over here. You. What the fuck are you doing? Hey. I'm not gonna kill you over here. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up! I left my shovel, so you know what? You gotta die somewhere else. Oh, over here. Come over here, lay down with your friend, okay? Is that gonna be good? Take your time, don't worry. I got a fucking day. Oh, I should've got her when I knocked her down the first time. I'm exerted. Exerted as fuck. There we go. Just lay down. Hoo! Hoo! Swing my mouse cursor. Maybe that helps a little. I don't think it helps. That's okay though. A little more money. Look at that. We getting so rich. I'll tell you what, bro. And I heard that one. Oh, there's another one. See? Told ya. They're fucking lurking out here. Why y'all lurking for? Lurky jerky, and they got high exertion. God damn. Gonna end up breaking my bat on these fucking <gasps> stupid skulls. Come on! Lay down! Huh! 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 Yeah! There we go. That's nice. Okay. I think it's relatively clean over here now. Maybe I could do some foraging or some such. That would be quite nice, I think. Lots of garbage over here. Garbage that I foraged. <laughs> uh, let's look for animals. If you focus on animals, will you be more uh, inclined to find it? I assume that's how it would work. And then once I catch a squirrel, I break his little squirrely neck and eat him. Eat the fuck out of them. That's what we do around here. Anything? Nothing? That's fine. I drowsy anyways. Got up pretty early. So, uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Time to go to bed. 8 o'clock. Oh my god, I didn't water my plants. Ah, uh, I'll do it tomorrow morning. That's fine. It'll do. Oh, also in the patch notes, you can make a bed with a, a suture needle now. So I don't need to keep track of that fucking other needle, which I don't even know where the hell it went. <laughs> oh, God. That's a tiny change, but it's a big deal because it's fucking hard to find a needle. I guess it doesn't really matter now because the bed's already made. 
Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Project Zomboid. I'm going to get a uh, a little snacky snack before I go beddy bye. That's how it should be, right? I don't want to go to bed all hungry and shit. That's not cool. Anyways, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. I do appreciate that. It helps the channel to get out there, which is ultra important because uh, I want to grow. I want to get up there and I want to do the thing. And mostly I, I want to do it for you, you know? If you're already here, that's great, but you should bring somebody else here too. And if everybody brings somebody, then we double in size. And then everybody else brings somebody else. And then we, or, or, or whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to grow like the blob, you see? You just get bigger and absorb more things. Ah, that's how we do. Or at least that's how we're trying to do. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.